Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to take a look at and review decks. If you've been around Magic for any length of time, I'm sure you've heard of Lloyd Barnes and Javier. I'm sorry, dude. I, I can't pronounce your name. We'll just pronounce it uh, Fun Major. <laughs> because it really seems like you've majored in fun. Alright? So <laughs> now Lloyd did send me this product to review. And I'm not going to sit here and, you know, tell you lies just so you will buy it just because he sent it to me. What I am going to do is give you my honest opinion and give you an honest review of how I really feel about it. Having said that, I have nothing bad to say about decks. It's perfect. I'm a huge fan of a card index, which this is exactly what it is. It's a card index. And if you don't know what a card index is, it's basically a device that sits in your pocket and you're able to fit an entire deck of cards in it and at a moment's notice you can retrieve any card named, called for, from that pocket and produce it uh, anywhere or however you want to. I will say the worst trick you can do with an index is doing a card to pocket that will almost instantly give away the secret. It is better to use decks to produce a card, say, inside of the deck, maybe face up, or produce it uh, from your hat, or anywhere else besides your pocket, pretty much. When you receive decks, uh, you receive a plethora of instructional videos. I'm talking at least about nine hours of videos uh, between instructions and performances. But mostly instructions, but the performances are very helpful as well. I would say my favorite part or one of the things that stand out to me most about these instructional uh, videos is the fact that Lloyd and Javier really go into detail about everything, not just how to use decks, but it's really a, a masterclass on sort of theory and a sort of psychological uh, warfare when it comes to performing magic, not just with decks, but with any magic that you do. So when you watch these videos uh, with decks, keep in mind the things they say about how to present it and the sort of uh, ideas on presentation and sort of theories uh, when it comes to any magic. If you've ever read books like Strong Magic and other theory books like this, then you pretty much get this book in video format uh, with Lloyd and Javier, if that makes any sense. It's, and it's incredible. And it's just so fun to watch. I mean, you get Lloyd and Javier in a room together and it's just a blast. Um, you can feel how much fun they're having and when you're watching it, you, you just feel like you're having fun with them. This is not going to be a throwaway item. Uh, Dex is one of those things it's just like any new thing in magic that you uh, learn, uh, you can apply to so many things. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's the double lift of, uh, <laughs> it's like one of those most important things that is essential in magic. A couple more things about decks and I'll show you some cool little things. Um, first of all, the reason why it took decks so long to get released uh, from when Lloyd first initially sort of teased it, it wasn't, it was not to create hype like some people think so. Um, it was really a manufacturing detail that had to be ironed out. Um, Dex took so long is because they wanted every single detail about it to be so perfect and what you're holding right now in your hands if you have Dex is the final product of just perfecting everything and every detail is so just thought out and it's just so uh, carefully manufactured and no stone left unturned. All right, so I can't really show you what Dex itself looks like, but I can give you a pretty good idea. I have a couple indexes already. One of my favorite being the Quiver sort of compact uh, index. This right here is a 16 card index and you have folded cards inside and so you have 16 uh, possibilities of folded cards and um, right here this is about the thickness of decks. All right so if you compare this with a different index uh, like say the SB6 by Brent Braun this is a great little index. It holds six cards, so you always have a uh, multiple out of six different cards. And that just, uh, it's thin. It's uh, made of sort of a, um, a uh, 
a vinyl material. So if you took both of these and made them have a baby, you would get decks pretty much. The material is almost like this vinyl material and with the thickness of this little quiver and decks, like I said, if they had a baby, they would, it would be decks. So decks is about, uh, if you added this on top, that's about how tall or the length of what decks looks like. So uh, thickness of this, this material and that tall, that's decks. While this is one of my favorite indexes to use, what I don't really like about it is the fact that it's only 16 cards. But with decks, it's any card and you can do folded cards uh, in decks. So this is very easy to sort of get out in your pocket. You have the card palmed and uh, you can do the same thing in decks, but it's every card. So if you had maybe like a Kennedy box or uh, the clear vision box, you could do, or even a mint box by Daniel uh, Garcia, you could do that with any named card. Just uh, retrieve it from decks. And this is what I was saying earlier about uh, making the card appear somewhere else, right? And get it from decks and then do your thing with this mystery box and boom, you have a named thought of card in a box that's been sitting there the whole time. And it's not just card tricks either. Uh, anything that you can produce from an index that fits cards, you can do. Uh, there's mentalism stuff, and it's not just Javier and Lloyd either. You have different people coming and sharing their own ideas. I mean, one of the coolest things I think on this whole thing is a freaking color match. If you don't know, if you don't know what a color match is, basically you have a blank drawing and you have some markers or some crayons you have somebody color in the, dr the drawing with any color they want anywhere they want to and you have that predicted whatever they do and you can do this with decks seriously next time a new trick comes out or if you're you know browsing tricks and you see a trick that you like and you think would be pretty great for your act just think to yourself i wonder if i can do this with an index or decks itself and you know what the answer is most of the time yes so if you're serious about magic, then Dex is just a no-brainer, and I highly, highly, 10 out of 10, recommend this product. Another few points, uh, think about the invisible deck. Uh, you can do invisible deck with no gimmicks. And to, to make it even stronger, think about having just a blank deck, and that's the only card in the deck that they just named. Dex allows you to do that. Think about tricks that you already own and you love. Think about maybe uh, Gypsy Queen by Aussie Wind. So this would be the idea uh, with the Gypsy Queen. You have somebody just name the card or think of a card. And let's say for instance, they go with the, uh, the Nine of Diamonds in this case, okay? So they can do whatever they want to. They can shuffle the pack and then maybe you have some people around you that like you're doing this for a group and you have a, a woman sitting here or standing there. You say, look, your card is going to appear in my pocket just like this watch in my pocket i have one card that's your card right there what was it the nine of diamonds right boom there it is oh wait hold on <laughs> that, that that's the queen you hold on to it for a moment now watch this focus on your card maybe we can it makes some magic happen watch she's holding your card check it out so she turns it over say that's not that's still the queen it nothing happened and no and, th and then you say look this is the best part no i said she's holding your card look closer so the card they name is actually on the queen the queen is holding the card if that wasn't enough think about tricks like maybe yo uh, any card by richard sanders so with any card by Richard Sanders, the basic effect is that you have somebody just name a card and then you spread the deck and out of nowhere, four aces appear uh, face up. And then on the back of these aces is written the card that they named, which is a beautiful, astonishing effect. And I thought you could probably do the same thing with decks. And it turns out I was right, but a little bit of variation. So. Let's say somebody, uh, you have somebody just mix the deck up for you like they do in OSA cut like this. And you, while they're doing that, you have them name any card. And let's say in this case, they name uh, the four of hearts. Okay, so it looks like they mix the deck. And now look, you say focus on the aces and focus on the ace that matches your card. In this case, they would be thinking of four of hearts or they named the four of hearts, right? So you could produce, right? The card, the ace, that they're thinking of the Ace of Hearts in this case. Now, uh, you know, 
you've at this point you've already loaded in uh, what you need to do with decks, and so that's already done with. And so look, if I can get one ace, I can get all four aces. There they are, right there. All four aces from my shuffle deck that you just mixed up. Blah blah blah. And then now here's the kicker. You can go like this. Look, you said four of hearts, right? Not only did I make the aces appear, I made your card appear. There it is, right there. The four of hearts boom and it's just like his trick same effect but done a little bit differently with no gimmick deck all right guys so that'll do it for today's video i really hope that you watch sort of the whole thing and uh maybe uh answer some questions that you may have had about decks and uh i hope i really hope that you get it and you check it out it's definitely worth the price all right guys so until next time happy practicing i love you guys